Hi, welcome to Librarians and Glasses. This is the February edition. I'm Grady. I'm Jessica. This is Jessica. Thanks for joining us. So several people from the library have got together yes. and created a volleyball team. Correct. In which we have joined a co-ed league at the rec center. Yes, including these two yep. people. Star player right here. You were good. Well, I am the assistant captain. So <laughs> I heard that you were auditioning for assistant captain, but I did not hear anything official. The big reveal is going to be tomorrow. Uh, we've only played one game so far. We and got it was a really beat. Great start. Bad. <laughs> we first showed up at the the game, the yes. game before us played. We were pretty happy. Everyone seemed to be at the same. We're all beginners. Field. Yeah, same we're level. All on par. Yeah. With each other. Because uh, that was a big concern of us. Yes. Because we haven't played together. Or well, at most all. Most of us have never played volleyball Ever. before. <laughs> well, it looked like everyone was going to be beginner level. So we were excited yeah. and maybe got a little bit cocky. And we're like, we've got this. We can, yeah, we we were, can do this. We were pretty sure we, we were going to win our first game. We had one practice under our belts. Yes, we so did. So we were pretty self-assured yeah. that we, we were going to win this one. And then the other team came out onto the court. Yep. All chiseled <laughs> and physically fit. I think there were some six-packs in there. <laughs> and then they proceeded to beat us 25-3. to three. But the three we gave was a valiant effort. Yes. It was literally everything we had. We oh. scored the three points because I think they just kind they of got stopped out of trying. <laughs> Some of the points were because they were so powerful and just went out of bounds. <laughs> and we couldn't stop it. Yeah. And then they beat us 20... 25 to 7. 25 to that 7. Same. <laughs> and then the third game we played... It went back down to three. Yeah, it was 25 to 3 again. I apologize to the team. Yeah. The people who came to watch us... Stopped associating themselves with us. <laughs> there was no more cheering. And yes. we had probably too much fun. Uh, the other team <laughs> looked like they got mad at us <laughs> for being so bad. <laughs> the refs looked like they were kind of mad at us for being so bad. <laughs> now we're like the underdogs <gasps> yes. of the league. We're going to do a flying V formation. Um, we're going to get a dog to join our team. Because <laughs> that seems to be successful. Yes. We're going to do one of these things. <laughs> in the outfield are going to come help us. Yes. At the end, everyone will start chanting Rudy. And if any sports movie is correct, we will win. The league. And the playoffs. <laughs> if there's a playoffs. So, Jessica, I think it's time for a Did You Know. <laughs> Did you know... Did you know about our Rough and Ready Readers program at the library? We have an amazing program where kids can come and practice their reading to therapy dogs. We have different therapy dogs that come once a week on Monday afternoons from 4.30 to 5.30. Also the second Saturday and fourth Saturday of the month from 1 to 2. And the kids can come and practice reading in a stress-free environment. Um, the dogs are wonderful and gentle, and the kids absolutely love it. So if you would like any more information on that program, either give us a call, check our website, or come in and talk to us. This is your Bertrand Buzz, where we tell you all of the happenings going on at the library this month. To start it off on February 1st, we have Basics of Essential Oils. Mm -hmm. It's been a very popular series we've had. We have it once a month now, um, and it has a really good turnout. Yes, I've been going. I really, really love these classes. Yes, yes. And uh, we love essential oils here at the library. We sure do. Spray lavender every day. It smells like a field of lavender at the library. Uh, this particular program is about supporting your digestion. I'm excited to learn more. Yes. Next day on February 2nd, we have Winter Weather Safety, where the American Red Cross will come in and tell you how you can prepare yourself for wintertime weather. That's great. And that is at 7 o'clock in the evening. We also have our Pick of the Litter book group this month, uh, which is taking place on Thursday, February 11th at 7 o'clock. Uh, this month's book is The Nightingale by Christine Hanna. New members are always welcome. We have our two movie groups as well. Mm -hmm. uh, we have our third Thursday movie group, which is showing San Andreas. Cool. Uh, that's on February 18th at 1.30. And then we have our Bertrand Movie Classics. And it's the Philadelphia Story, 1940 film. And that is showing on February 25th at 1.30. We also have a dot coloring night. Join us for a stress-relieving evening 
of coloring, conversation, and refreshments. That's going to be February 22nd at 7 o'clock. And don't forget our series of computer classes that we offer every month. Uh, on February 8th, we have Overdrive, eBooks, and more, where you can learn about our free library eBook program. And then we have our Microsoft Office programs. Uh, it's a four part class. Uh, we have Word, PowerPoint, and Excel. Oh, excellent. Uh, there's actually two classes dedicated to Excel since it's a more in depth program. But still, it's just the basics for all the, the classes. Great. Uh, I'll put the dates up on the screen here. So, Jessica, what's going on in the children's department? Well, we are having our normal programs. Story times, rough and ready readers, and read aloud book clubs. Those, as always, can be found on our website. Give us a call, come in and talk to us. Our special program this February is Super Size Game Night. We did it last year, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Miss Jill is throwing it February 6th from 1 to 4, and it's basically a lot of your favorite games just super size. We have giant Jenga, yes. we have a huge Kerplunk game. These huge dice that are always behind us, they'll probably be making an appearance. Um, Those are our props. We can't use, <laughs> can't we'll, use the we'll, dice. We'll bring them back. <laughs> we'll bring them back. Um, she has giant bananagrams. And then there's also regular size games and snacks. And so if you're feeling a little cooped up this winter and want to get out of the house, this would be a great afternoon to come and join us at the library. Okay. So one last thing before we go <laughs> is that some of you might be aware of Amazon Smile. It is a program that Amazon offers where when you shop on a special link, the, a portion of the proceeds will go to a nonprofit organization. Yes. Well, now you can select the Friends of Bridget Public Library as the recipient That's of great. the proceeds. Uh, so you go to smile.amazon.com, and then when you shop on that website, those proceeds will go to the Friends of Virtual Public Library. That's awesome. I yes, do a lot is. of Amazon shopping. Yes, so. yes. Very much. Yes. Now it can benefit. The library. Yes. <laughs> awesome. And remember, we're Bertrand Public Library. Come check us out.